I'm going to vote for her. And I've never voted for her. I have huge political disagreements with her, obvious, the obvious ones, the war, too cozy with Wall Street, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, you know, there are also these things about her that I think are pretty decent and good, and they never get talked about. And, you know, no person is just one way. And, and you know, one of my hopes, and I, I, address, I address Hillary directly in the camera during the piece here, hoping she'll see this, because I want to tell her that we're hoping that she will be something better than what we've seen in the past. And I'm hoping that that is what will happen. Now, I may be a cockeyed optimist here. I am fully aware she's a politician, and she's a Clinton, and all of that. But I also—there's <clears throat> too much at stake here at this point. And look, we live in a country—Canada has five political parties for 34 million people. We have two. Two, uh, two parties that are treated like parties. We need to have three and four and five political parties that to, to represent the broad spectrum of political thought amongst 320 million people. We have to fix the system, and we have to commit to doing that. We say this every four years, and then we forget about it, and then, then we get, you know, two more choices and what I used to call the evil of two lessers. And um, it, I'm not, we're all tired of this, and I think we need to, we need to fix this. We can't fix it by Tuesday. So, so I think— I'm willing to accept that we had a, a decent enough victory with where we brought the country with Bernie Sanders and what he had to say and how people took to it. We're going to build on that. The Bernie revolution will continue.